definitely red on the uh, clasp. See if I can get it to see what we can do with the chain. It may be I'm not getting through the coat, the rose gold coat on it. It's just very hard to do a chain this thin. But you don't feel like you're rubbing it off too. See if we get any hint of red on this. Probably, probably would have been better to do the uh, 18 karat to see if it fluoresces. I don't see anything. See, there's no red. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the 18 karat. See if I can get it to fluoresce. Maybe that'd be easier to see. Go back to the. This is the spring ring I'm testing. Now that that really does shine up to be silver, and that's the one where I saw a little bit of um. This one, not so much. Let's see. That's the second way to test sterling. And a lot of people like to test it that way because they say it's easier to see. This is the 18 carat. Ooh, it's flattered. Come on. Oh yeah, this definitely is fluorescing, the clasp. And this one's not even disappearing, I don't know. If it's fluorescing or not, because the, the mark is so much. No, it's not fluorescing. So the clasp on this is definitely silver. As far as the heart, no. And... I want to look at the heart a little closer to see. Make sure it's not marked something else. Where is my loop? Oh, buried. Mm -hmm. Under my stuff, stuff, stuff. Will you put this back together? Just put it in there. And... Oh, sure. Sorry, guys. We're taking so much time on one piece, but sometimes you need to take a little time to see what you really have. don't see anything else. There we go. It is still a pretty little necklace. Let me wipe this off. There we go. in the box it went. Okay. Now, the next, did you write 925? I did. Okay. The next piece we have is this pretty piece. I think this is bone. I'm not sure, but I think it is. And then you have these pieces here that look like some kind of stone. Or dyed bone, I don't know, one or the other. These look like turquoise pieces. This is wood in this one, but these look like turquoise. They're cold. And these are cold. I'm not sure what they are. You have a hook clasp. You have an extender with the cold, another cold bead. Let's 
said, I just don't know what those are. Very pretty necklace. There you go, honey. Thank you. Next is a pretty pearl with the uh, rhinestone beads and spacers. And these are coal, so they are um, glass pearls. Here's the extender, lobster claw clasp is in great shape. This is a very nice pearl necklace. There you go, honey. Okay. I'm trying to get caught up here and give you some room. Here is a glass pendant in black. Bezel set in this beautiful setting here. Look at the back, how ornate the back is. You could wear it either way wear the necklace that way or this way. These are all glass. These look like they are copper, brassy pieces, more copper, I think. There is no clasp. Let's see if it's magnetic. It's very magnetic. These pieces here are not, and this is not magnetic at all. So these are copper pieces in here. The chain, however, is not copper. Very beautiful. It's got a copper look, but it's not copper. Only these and this is copper. And these are glass beads. Beautiful. Again, very pretty. Here's a little rhinestone studded little um, dolphin. Probably a pearl was sitting in here or some kind of stone, I would think. Solarite type where you can pull it down and adjust it. You even have a lobster claw class. The chain is in excellent shape. The pendant's in excellent shape. And even though it doesn't have anything in there, that's all in good shape. We'll put it off to the side, see if we can yeah. find something in the bottom of it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, honey. This is very cool. Fish necklace. The enameling on that is beautiful. The chain has some wear on it. It is a Claire's. I would change the chain out and put this on something separate because it is very cute. Doesn't have a lot of movement to it, just a little bit here in the tail. Very cute. The next one is a scroll, Once Upon a Time. Look at this lobster claw clasp with the rhinestones in it. Here's the back. Very cool. It's got kind of a nickel finishing on it, it looks like. Um, a silver, an antique silver, more like it. Rollo chain. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yes, it is. That lobster claw is very unique, though. Very cool. It makes me think of a Disney theme, Once Upon a Time. Mm-hmm. There you go, honey. Thank you. Here is a bracelet with the mesh and the um, polished tubes, and then these Capuchons hanging down, Capuchon-like beads or charms. That is not magnetic. Those are, and that is. 
that is the mesh is not pulling at all so that's interesting very cool so I don't know if this is an anklet it's pretty big or you can just wear it on a larger wrist and I can make this smaller to where it would fit me as a bracelet. Because it would fit like that. Right here. If I, I can clip it to here, it'd be tighter on me. It's interesting. The next is a locket with flowers engraved. Here's the inside. It's in pretty good shape. It's in good condition, not excellent. Here's the back with all the scrolls and the flowers. The chain is magnetic. It's already stuck to my magnet. Let's see. Here's your lobster claw clasp. That wear on it. The chain, however, looks nice. It's got texture chains, elongated rollos. Nice locket, necklace. next one has a lot of wear on the chain around the neck. It's got this pretty little pendant, though, with a tassel. And the chain looks nice as you get on down, but that around the neck looks pretty bad. I'm putting this in the craft lot. This one's Lobster Claw. Curved chain. Pretty little pendant with a tassel. Very cute design. I have another tassel necklace that has wear on it. On the back. It has a toggle here, and here's your tassel. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. The next one is an anchor magnetic clasp. It's got a lot of wear on some of the anchors. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. The next one is a fish, beautiful enameling and rhinestones. There's the back. It looks brand new. Nice toggle clasp. Nice chain, gold tone chain. Very pretty. This is very pretty. It's angel wing with these gold stones and rhinestones. And these are ABs in here. That's Aurora Borealis coated rhinestones. Angel wing. Here's the back. It's in excellent shape. It's got a lobster claw clasp, an extender with the bead, Rolo chain. It's very pretty. Love that. Next are some very nice earrings hoops with the rhinestones and they're all there front and back in good shape this is your front view of the earring and here's your side view those are very nice Ooh, we have a ring it's in gold tone doesn't have any wear in it 
It is a size seven and a half. Here's a cuff, another cuff, beaded cuff, and black and the bronze colored seed beads. Nice colors. Look at this cool pendant. Little spider web with dark rhinestones, and it's missing some rhinestones here and here. Oh, and here and here. And yeah, we've got quite a few missing. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Craft lot's got a lot of stuff in it. Mm hmm. Yes, it does. Here's a pretty little beaded green bead leaf. The leaf is antiqued. You can see some black on it. The other side's got a little bit more of it. Beautiful green beads. I have another little stretchy bracelet with clear beads and red beads. And we have KW bracelet. Key West. I figured it out. <laughs> it's a Key West bracelet. Love Key West. Love to watch that sunset right into the water. Yeah, that's where we sh probably would be right today. Yeah. Yeah, we would have been there today. The cruise wouldn't have canceled. What you looking for, huh? But our cruise canceled. I was looking for my stone. Oh, right here. Yeah, they canceled our cruise, so it was our 47th anniversary cruise. And we were going to New Orleans to watch our granddaughter graduate. After the cruise. After the cruise, and of course, that's not happening either. And that's even worse. Yep. She's still going to graduate, but they'll just send it to her in the mail, which is sort of... Yuck. Yuck, yeah. Yep, all those years. Been to her sister's and her brother's graduation and she doesn't get one. Nope, I don't see any. So it's not silver, but it is very cute. It's got the little gold tone ropes here. Cool. <clears throat> Okay, the next uh, piece we have has got a lobster claw clasp, an extender with a bead, with a little um, bead on the end here. It's in these pretty glass beads, seed beads. And I don't know, I guess this is bone. Yes, it looks like it's bone to me. In sections. To make this nice round design. Give y'all a close up of it. Very cool. You have your silver tone beads up here. It's really a pretty necklace. Very tropical, beachy, boho. Okay, the next one we have is this brass one. Nice chain. It is magnetic. I already tested it. I like the pendant on this. It's missing one stone here. I'm going to try to find a stone to fix that. Missing one, one. Yeah, I'm missing one right there, too. I'm not doing one, too. Where? Little baby ones. Uh, yeah, I got the baby one. You got two here. What missing? No, it's missing one here. Nope, nope. missing two. 
missing two here. You're right. I still think it's pretty enough to save. I like the pendant. Okay. So I'm going to try to fix it. If I can, it's going in the craft lot. Here's another bone piece. And these are real stones here. This looks like it's maybe carnelian. Maybe adventuring. Then again, you have more. These are bone uh, beads. And these are bone beads. It's got a nice hook clasp. I don't see any markings. Very pretty boho piece. The next piece we have is has a silver tone lobster claw clasp. It's in good condition, great condition. No wear on it. We have these seed beads here that feel very cool. Yes, they're cool. They're stone or something. A little confetti disc. Charms. Very long. Almost 72 inches or 72 inches. I'm sure it's a good 72 inches. It's very pretty. Pretty one to double or triple. Very nice. The next necklace is a pretty silver anchor. A beautiful silver chain. Lobster claw clasp. An extender with a little rhinestone prong set. I don't see any markings, but it is very beautiful. In great shape. That's a good one. <clears throat> the next one is a lobster claw clasp. In great shape. Extender with a bead, no wear. You have multi chains here. You got these little beaded chains, and then you have a rhinestone chain in between. Very cute. And it comes down to this tassel like, or it's knotted, or let me check something real quick here. Comes to this Y. Very pretty. Very pretty Y necklace. There you go, honey. Okay, thank you. Metal is in excellent shape. Next, we have a beautiful gold tongue cross on this pretty box chain done in gold. I don't see any markings on it. Come on. No markings, but boy, it's a beautiful gold color. There's no um, discoloration of the color on this. Very pretty cross necklace. Wait a minute, let me measure the chain, honey. All right. A lot of times people want to know the, on a chain like this, what size it is. I'm thinking 24. And I'm thinking wrong, it's 20. 20 inch. Very pretty. Then we have the ruby red slippers. With gold tone, red enamel. On a very good, nice gold tongue chain. I don't see any markings on it. Very, the chain is in excellent condition. 
We'll measure the chain. It is 18 inches. And we will, it is slightly magnetic. The next one is a silver tone chain with a lobster claw clasp. You have a nice extender on this. Here's the pretty chain, in silver tone. Then you come down to these blue beads. They are all, I believe, acrylic. Something's feeling cold, that's the chain. Okay, yes, they're all acrylic. Very pretty blue colors. Very skinny. Some of the acrylic beads have a Aurora Borealis wash on them. There's your necklace. There you go, honey. Thank you. The next one is an older necklace. It's a fold over clasp. It's got that vintage design. Let's see. No markings. It's probably needs to be measured like this to get a true measurement. There's 12 there. And up to 7. 12 and 7 is 19 inches. So it can go up to 19 inches. Very pretty. The pearl needs to be wiped off, I think. Yeah, that's coming off. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't the pearl coming, the finish coming off on the pearl. Very nice lusters on those capuchon pearls. Next is in a large spring ring class, and the gold has worn off. You have your gold beads and your nice, beautiful white acrylic beads. This will come off. I just need to clean it. Here's the other side. Very pretty. The next, ooh, these are glass clear beads, I think, on red strings. Making them look red. Isn't that pretty? Here's your end caps. This is very worn in the sin. Lobster claw clasp is in good shape. The extender has wear on it with the bead on it. These are real nice beads here, though. They're cold. I'm going to put this in the craft lot. Give me a bag for it, though, because it'll get all tangled up. Here is... You missed. Yeah, well... I'll it's okay, it. we'll get it later. Lobster claw class with an extender with no bead. Pretty seed beads in green. And then your acrylic beads in uh, opaque colors, different styles. Some these are transparent, but these are the rest are opaque. You have some that are fasted. Very beautiful teal color of green. Blue teal. The next is lobster claw clasp, extender with a bead. This is brassy or um, copper like finish on this. Yeah, it's not magnetic. You have wood beads and acrylic beads. I don't know if I see any glass beads. I'm looking. Nope. Acrylic and wood beads. Very colorful, very festive. The next 
There's a sun. It looks like a sun to me with this beaded tassel here. These are acrylic. All these beads are acrylic, but they're very pretty in color and very well done. Very pretty necklace. I like the sun design on there. The next are acrylic beads. You have your lobster claw class and silver tone. The rest of the findings here are gold tone. And you have the brown and black and gold, uh, satin gold beads combination. It's like splattered paint on those. And those are definitely acrylic. So we have acrylic and wood. The next one is New York, very unusual design, lobster claw class, extender with a bead and a gunmetal chain, twisted, and then you come down to these. Um, yeah. <laughs> get it going right here. They're like knots done in chains, link chains in gunmetal and silver. You have the cord in white and black. Very different. It's a New York and Company design. Next thing we have are these little glass beads that are clear. So whatever thread you run through there are elastic. It's going to uh, show up that color. Here's another one with a lobster claw clasp. It has some wear on it, but these are pretty glass beads on here. The next one is a Shambhala type made with uh, cat's eyes. Very cold stones. See there? It's very pretty. The black cord in there. Very pretty. The next is a rhinestone set in gold teardrop form. Stretchy. Looks brand new, doesn't even look like it's been worn. The inside is in perfect condition. The next one is a pirate ring. Your skull, or a skull ring. Made in China. It is a size nine. 